hi guys welcome back to my channel it's Eileen um so today I'm going to share a share information for our swap we are going to be doing a junk journal swap I'm hosting a junk journal swap with Louisa we're going to do a collab and hopefully you can join us tomorrow Wednesday wacky Wednesday on Louisa's channel and that is my crafty boutique um here on YouTube so here's some information this is basically the requirements for our swap okay and i know some of us are still not really tech savvy and all that but this is a great exercise as far as learning how to use our social media okay so um basically we're going to do a junk journal swap it's going to be a one-on-one -on -one swap and first come first paired so just going to go down the list and pair you as i as i receive the people who want to participate th their names um now it's us only and we we what do you call this it's been a while since i've made a video guys <laughs> you must have crafty videos either on your youtube channel videos or pictures either on your youtube channel or on instagram of your creations and this is just so we can see that you are a crafter and that one of our ladies you know get burned on a swap i don't want to do that so that is what we're asking if you want to take a screenshot here we go um the other thing is you must subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Instagram and this is Louisa's information it's at my crafty boutique on YouTube and kitties kitties scrap post there's two s's two p's 37 and that's her Instagram channel I mean not channel you know what I mean Instagram and then my YouTube channel is Eileen Payne, and it'll be the same, it's just lowercase on Instagram, Eileen Payne. If you search that, you'll see it's me. <laughs> anyway, I try to make it easy, so I use the same profile photo for my Instagram and my um, YouTube. So if it's not, if you can't find me, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, just search it. <laughs> All right, so the next requirement is the social media part, right? Because we want to be able to see each other, see each other's swaps and creations. Um, you're not going to be sending anything to me or to Louisa. You're only sending to your partner, okay? Your swap partner. The two of you are going to send each other whatever you create. So, must share your swap on YouTube you could do a video or on Instagram. You could even do a mini video, but you don't have to because I know some of you are not, um, you don't like that. You don't prefer that. So if you want to share the photos, please share the photos, as many of, as many photos of your swap partner's creations as you can. And what you have to do is use the hashtag. If you're going to do the photos on Instagram, hashtag wacky Wednesday junk journal it's JJ swap 21 is just the year okay so wacky Wednesday JJ swap 21 you can also use this um, hashtag on YouTube so what I will do is I'll go in on my YouTube I'll put this hashtag on there and then I will create um, the wacky Wednesday hashtag there you can also use it on YouTube. Same hashtag. So now tags, so that we will be alerted that you know you're using your, not that you're using. We will know when you upload your video or upload your pictures of your swap. Both Louisa and I will get to see it and also your swap partner will get to see it because sometimes the hashtag not necessarily will alert you, but if you use this direct tag, we will be able to see your um, your share, okay? So the swap requirements, what you're going to swap, 
with your partner, you and your partner will decide what you want to do. Like one wants Halloween, one wants Christmas. You guys will agree on that. And then, you know, you create it and send it to each other. Okay. But you have to communicate. I took that straight out of Poochie's <laughs> swap book. Um, and it worked phenomenally. So that is perfect. Also, uh, your junk journal, which is the main item that we're swapping, you know, there are no rules for our junk journals. So as long as we have, all that I ask is have journaling spots so that not every page is decorated. You just leave some open spots for your partner if they want to journal or add photos or create for themselves, whatever. Um, yeah. Add some pockets. You don't have to add like 10 million pockets you can have like one or two as long as you have some pockets uh, just some flip out pages so that let's say let me see, let me get a paper okay so let's say this is your junk journal right and you're it doesn't even have to be a, a fold in half junk journal it could even be a fold in thirds junk journal. Okay. So if we have our junk journal folded like this, we can add a flip out, which let me get another piece of paper. You can just take another piece, right? And you can add it directly to the page. You can glue it, you can stitch it. Um, you know, do whatever you want. You can even use tape. Just get creative and then um, this page will um, somehow fold in. It's just a hiding spot. And if you guys seen my lives uh, before I moved, I was creating junk journals too. And um, I was just taking paper, whatever I saw, glue it, stitch it, tape it, whatever, washi even, you can do it like that. Now, saying you can also fold it into thirds you can use whatever size you and your partner can decide what size you want or just you know be give creative freedom to your partner and let them create for you which is even more interesting you can fold it into thirds there's no set size and there's an automatic fold out right there a flip you know all right so those are just some ideas um, tuck spots, you could use pieces of ephemera, die cuts, and you just glue down partial piece of that ephemera to the paper and it can become a tuck spot. Let me show you. Now, if you want more examples tomorrow, which is Wednesday, this could be a tuck spot right there. Louisa and I and Jennifer, uh, a trace of sparkle, touch of sparkle will be going live on Louisa's channel and we will share different styles of junk journals. We're definitely not going to have the same style of junk journals. So if you're interested to see some examples, these ladies are super creative. So see now you have a tuck spot. It could even be considered a pocket, but there it is. You can even take this um, piece right here and just whoops tape that edge onto the paper and here's another piece it's just, I'm just taking some random scraps right next to me this becomes a tuck spot right that's a tuck spot so you'll see more examples um, tomorrow okay so whatever you want you can even add envelopes into your junk journal which is always fun. You know, um, you can create your envelopes or you can use envelopes from your mail. You know, the junk mail that comes in, that's where the term junk came, came from because you can pull anything in and make your own creative journal. All right, the other requirement, um, a memory decks card. We're gonna do a memory decks card so that we could share our information, right? We wanna get the address and all that stuff birthdays, your favorites, like your colors, your papers, your collections, any of that that you want to share. 
Um, another one would be a dangle, a chunky dangle. Please guys, tomorrow, if you, if you miss it, there will be other videos. Louisa has several junk journal videos. I know Jennifer has um, several junk journal videos. I have just a few, just from recent, more recent, like um, before I moved. So go check those out. That's also why I tell you guys to subscribe to the channels because there's so much inspiration. So a chunky dangle to you and your partner's liking. Doesn't have to be super large. You know, you just think of your, your junk journal size and make it relative to that, okay? Um, and then a matching theme pen. It doesn't have to be a pen you created. It could be a pen from Dollar Tree, um, whatever. It could be a Christmas theme. It's, you know, just find a pen that's suitable to what you're creating, okay? So that is the requirements for the swap. Now, the last thing are the dates, okay? You have July 13th, which is today, the 14th, which is tomorrow, which is Wacky Wednesday, and the 15th, which is Thursday. Those are the days I'm gonna limit for the people to um, direct message me on my Instagram and let me know you wanna be put on the list to be paired up, okay? I will then announce on July 21st who your partner is. I will send like little group messages, you, your partner, and myself so that I could track, you know, the communications between the two of you. And also, so I know if the swap is going well. Okay, that is straight out of Poochie's book again. Um, all swaps must be postmarked by August 18th. And you must inform your partner. If you're gonna run down to the last hour of our <laughs> deadline, at least let your partner know and if you miss the deadline, that's what the whole communication is for. Why we're gonna group you or I'm gonna group you on Instagram so that you guys are able to communicate easily. Um, hey, I'm running behind. Um, I had some stuff come up, da da da, I'm out of town, whatever. Communication is key. That is the best way to stay good in a swap. All right, and then, um, the last thing would be to have fun, guys. It's the, it's not hard. I mean, the most hardest thing you have to do is to share your, your stuff on social media so we could all see what is going on. And, you know, we get to props everybody up. <laughs> anyway, this video has been a wreck for me because it's been a long time since I made one. So... Please go check out Luisa's channel, um, subscribe, hit the notification on both hers and mine, follow us on Instagram, and you have all the information right here. So if you need to, go ahead and screenshot it or write it down or whatever. But I'm excited to see everyone's creations and I'll see you guys tomorrow for Wacky Wednesday. Bye.